When the waiter came over and said, do you want a box for your leftovers? She replied with no, but I'll wrestle you for them. Today, I'm going to recap a 2020 action crime film called Bad Boys for Life. The film opens with detectives named Mike and Marcus, speeding in a sports car through Miami's roads, being chased by fellow police officers. Arriving at a hospital, they hastily enter, searching for Marcus's daughter Megan, who has just become a mother to a baby boy. Marcus is greeted by his spouse Theresa and Megan's partner, Reggie, who reveal that the newborn is named in his honor. Marcus joyfully cradles his new grandson. Next, inside a Mexican prison, Isabel Aredes performs a mystical chant that catches a guard's eye. She grabs a knife, attacking the guard, and other prisoners join in, ultimately killing her. The remaining guards promptly activate the emergency alarm. Isabel dresses in the fallen guard's uniform, and she is whisked away in an ambulance. En route, Isabel's son, Armando, intercepts the vehicle, assisting her in taking out the rest of the guards. He liberates her, and together they return home, intent on avenging her deceased husband Benito, with Mike in their crosshairs. In the meantime, Marcus and his buddies are toasting the new birth at a local bar. One evening, Armando visits the docks to retrieve a crate of money, intending to collaborate with other lawbreakers, but they attempt to swindle him, skimming off most of the funds. Facing drawn guns, he counters by simultaneously stabbing all of them. He then demands that the surviving men pledge loyalty to his family if they wish to work with him. Consequently, an individual named Lorenzo Rodriguez, also known as Zuelo, aligns with him. Concurrently, Mike and Marcus reflect on their existence. Marcus contemplates settling down to devote more time to his family, while Mike continues to crave excitement. Soon, they encounter Rita, Mike's former love interest, who has recently been elevated to the rank of lieutenant and now leads AMO, or Advanced Miami Metro Operations, a team of youthful officers. Marcus acknowledges that they're aging out of their former wild pursuits and counsels Mike to take it easy, but Mike rejects the advice. Subsequently, the duo engages in a foot race, but is interrupted when Armando shows up on a motorcycle, shoots Mike, and flees the scene as law enforcement officials hurry to help the critically injured Mike. Marcus beseeches God to spare Mike, vowing to never again contribute to violence. Rita and Howard instruct AMO members, Kelly, Dorn, and Rafe, to use every means to identify Mike's assailant. At the same time, Isabel reprimands Armando for prematurely attacking Mike, as she wants Mike to endure the agony of watching others perish before his turn. The two embark on a killing spree, first murdering a judge while he's enjoying a pool party. Armando then locates and eliminates a forensic analyst aboard a yacht. Following that, he pursues and assassinates a prosecutor in full view of the public. Half a year later, Megan and Reggie have wed and Mike, having finally healed from his injuries, delivers a touching speech at their wedding. During the ensuing wedding celebration that night, Mike approaches the captain to request that he and Marcus be given the task of pursuing Armando as he is intent on avenging himself. However, the captain reveals to him that Marcus has stepped down from his position. Following this, Mike seeks out Marcus and pleads with him to assist in apprehending the man who shot him. Despite this, Marcus declines, expressing concern that others may be injured, and reiterates that he's now in retirement. Mike implores him, vowing it will be their final mission, but Marcus remains steadfast in his refusal. When Armando learns of Mike's recovery, he uploads body cam footage of the shooting to the internet. The clip quickly spreads, making headlines on television channels. Rita pays a visit to Mike, who asks for her assistance too, only to be met with a similar rejection. At this point, Mike determines to hunt down his assailant on his own. On one occasion, he calls on a retired criminal known as Manny the Butcher. Mike violently crushes Manny's hand with a hammer, compelling him to disclose the name of a person called Booker Grassy, who can identify the owner of the motorcycle and consequently, the shooter. Mike then approaches the captain, who hesitantly consents to send him along with Ammo to locate Booker Grassy. Upon learning that Mike will be collaborating with Ammo, and therefore with her, Rita voices her concerns, deeming it unwise. The captain, however, assures her it is in Mike's best interest. Shortly after, Rita introduces Mike to the squad. 
He instantly clashes with Rafe, whom he perceives as a smart Alec, though Kelly and Dorn acknowledge and honor his detective rank. The team proceeds to a warehouse where Grassy is scheduled to make a delivery. Utilizing a drone, Dorn infiltrates the premises and observes Grassy attempting to peddle ammunition to a band of young men. Mike swiftly discerns that the youths lack the funds for the purchase, surmising that they intend to cheat Grassy and then kill him. He rushes out to rescue Grassy, with Kelly in tow. A fierce gun battle ensues between Grassy's crew and the gang wanting to buy the ammunition. Mike fires at the gang, endeavoring to reach Grassy. Once he locates him, Mike commands him to follow him outside or face death. However, amid the turmoil, Grassy tries to flee, and Mike finds himself battling other henchmen. An explosion propels Grassy into a forklift, impaling him, and he perishes before Mike can extract any vital information. Marcus receives a call from a tipster named Carver Remy, who alleges that Armando is stalking him, intent on assassination. Seeking protection, Remy appeals to Marcus for assistance. Subsequently, Marcus reaches out to Mike and collects him in his car. Prior to discussing their plans, Mike ensures Marcus's grandson is safely with his wife. In pursuit of Remy, they reach his hotel, only to have his lifeless body plummet onto their vehicle. Mike dashes into the room, engaging in combat with Armando, where he catches a glimpse of his face before Armando flees. Mike's efforts to apprehend him prove futile, as Armando escapes on his motorcycle. The pair then depart in Marcus's battered car. On another occasion, Mike spends time with the captain during a game, where the two strengthen their relationship. The captain displays sincere worry and affection for Mike. As they head back to the car, Armando fires a bullet into the captain's throat, while he and Zuelo take cover in a nearby building. Mike hauls the captain to safety, shielding him from further gunfire. He makes desperate attempts to resuscitate him, but without success. Following the captain's funeral, Marcus formally consents to aid Mike in capturing Armando. The next day, they set out to find a dubious broker named Pecan Jenkins, aiming to gather information on the murderer. Upon entering Jenkins' motel room, they discover him in an intoxicated state. Marcus's friendly approach is met with violence, leading Mike to handle the situation aggressively. However, the ammo team arrives soon after Marcus calls them, and together they confront Jenkins on the ground. Through an inquiry, the team identifies Zuelo from Jenkins' documents and resolves to pursue him. It emerges that both Mike and Marcus are familiar with Zuelo, having crossed paths with him before. They proceed to a nightclub where they anticipate finding him. Thankfully, Dorn recognizes the criminal's face, and the team mobilizes to apprehend him. They learn it is Zuelo's birthday celebration, facilitating their approach to him. Upon realizing he's encircled by officers, Zuelo attempts to escape on a motorcycle, with Marcus and Mike tailing him in a car. As Mike draws near enough, he shoots Zuelo, causing him to crash. They halt to load Zuelo's unconscious form into their vehicle, but soon Zuelo's henchmen appear and a skirmish ensues. The foes encircle the car, opening fire. In the nick of time, the ammo team reaches the scene in a van, engaging the henchmen. Yet, Zwei Lo slips away once again on a motorcycle. Subsequently, Mike and Marcus pursue him on a tandem bike. Marcus breaches his vow to God, wielding a machine gun against the oncoming criminals. Mike then spins around, targeting the trailing henchmen. They continue their pursuit, chasing Zwei Lo as he attempts to ascend a helicopter ladder. Abruptly, they spot Armando in the helicopter, aiming a bazooka at them, but his shot goes wide. While Marcus continues riding, Mike makes a daring leap from a truck, grabbing hold of the helicopter ladder as well. With Zuelo positioned above Mike, Armando kills him to get a clearer view of Mike, uttering the phrase, Hasta el fuego. Marcus acts quickly, firing at the helicopter, causing Mike to jump and plummet into the water below. Upon returning to headquarters, Mike directs Dorn to search the files using the expression uttered by Armando. Through careful examination, he discerns that Isabel is the mastermind behind everything. Receiving a message from Isabel, he leaves, appearing troubled. He goes on to disclose that during his time before becoming a detective, he was deeply entrenched in the Aridas cartel and had a relationship with Isabel. 
He emphasizes that she was his first and only love, until he was forced to imprison her and allow her husband's death. Furthermore, he uncovers that Isabel is skilled in black magic and is a relentless murderer. The phrase hasta el fuego, a nonsensical term they created, was meant to signify together until the flame goes out. Owing to her extensive involvement in witchcraft, she was given the moniker La Bruja. Mike deduces that Armando is his son, and Isabel is grooming him for vengeance, as all the victims were part of a legal action against the Aridas family. Resolute in resolving the issue, Mike plans a visit to Isabel in Mexico City. Marcus accompanies him on the flight, pledging to stay by his side to the very end, despite Mike's efforts to persuade him to return home. They connect with an old acquaintance who supplies them with arms. Later, they discover that Rita and her team have trailed them to offer assistance. Mike divulges that he is scheduled to meet Isabel at an aged mansion in Mexico for the ultimate confrontation. Upon meeting, Isabel removes an amulet from around Mike's neck, which turns out to be a camera. Dorn observes several of Isabel's henchmen approaching. Soon after, Armando captures Marcus and demands that Mike surrender his weapons. A fierce gunfight ensues between Isabel's mercenaries and the ammo agents. Mike alerts them that Isabel and Armando have fled to the building's rooftop. Marcus succeeds in shooting down the helicopter's pilot, leading to a crash that ignites a fire. Mike locates Isabel, but Armando engages him in combat. Marcus subdues an unconscious Isabel, and Mike resolves to face Armando as his son, revealing his true lineage but refraining from killing him. Armando remains skeptical of Mike's claim to be his father, requiring Isabel's confirmation. She urges him to kill Mike, but is met with refusal. Drawing a gun, she fires, only for Armando to shield Mike and suffer a gunshot wound to the shoulder. Shortly afterward, Rita shoots Isabel, causing her to fall into the fiery debris. An abrupt explosion nearly sends Marcus tumbling into the flames, but Armando assists Mike in pulling him to safety and escaping the inferno. In the aftermath, the team bonds more closely and celebrates Rita's promotion to captain. Mike and Marcus spend quality time with baby Marcus, harmonizing together as they sing the tune Bad Boys to the infant. Subsequently, Mike makes a trip to the correctional facility where Armando is incarcerated, extending to him a chance to make amends for his criminal actions, a proposal that Armando willingly agrees to. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.